No. Okay, it's said the same. So it's it's what it is. So we see what happened and travels let's recovery. But uh, I would say I'm used. We are used to to play in these situations, circumstances. Not maybe in this extreme, but in these situations. But the players getting getting come back. So and some of them that were out and today they turned really good. So maybe they can help us for a few minutes and tomorrow. So and at the end of the circumstances, right right now. But except Rodri, unfortunately, the rest. Sooner or later, they're coming to come back. You spoke in pre-season, Pep, about your sort of worries about the start of the season because of the lack of pre-season that so many players have had. But we're nearly at ten games, and you're top of the league. Have they have they surprised you, your players, with what they've what they've done already this season? I know they are capable of. So they are extraordinary. So uh, I'm really pleased. What can I say? I'm really pleased for the way we played and. The game is Spurs last last moment, so fighting until the end to to equalise and fighting to go through and to continue. So I'm really pleased. Hi Pep, the, the game on Tuesday, the fact that his players, Aberins, know that he's leaving, will that make them harder to play because they want to play more for him or easier because they think, well, the boss is going, so we can sort of subconsciously sorry, slacken sorry, off. Sorry. The fact that Sporting's players know. Ah, Sporting. Yeah, uh, we, know, we, uh, it's to the Spurs. The sporting player, yeah. Yeah, know that their, their manager's going to leave soon. Mm. Will that make them harder to play for you in this game because they know. might be more inspired, inspired, or do you think it's easier? You have to ask him, to the journalist from but, Portugal. But you're, the, you're, the man, you're the manager. Now he's distract texting a message, so that's why he's not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's why you ask him, and he will know how the but do you expect the sporting you players. Expect to be I expect the best. Yeah. I expect the best. So the best advice we can have is that when you play in an opponent, it's always the best performance. That's for sure. I'm pretty sure they will do. It's Champions League against Man City, so. But you have to understand that my concern now is not 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 that. Just because I think you mentioned it the other day, and because of the injuries, was there much of a debate about when you left let Alvarez go, not replacing him as a sort of out and out striker deputy for Erling, just in case the worst could happen to Erling or. Did you discuss that? Was that something that maybe you would need a deputy in case he went down? Well, when you, you don't expect to have eight, nine, or seven, or six, or seven, eight injuries or you know problems in at the same time. So when you have these injuries, always the squad is short when everyone is its feet is unavailable and it happens. So when we won four times in a row the Carabao Cup, like how serious always have been, always because in the first stage, second stage, third stage, until I would say semi-finals. Always play the guys like no playing the last games in the Premier League in that s specific moment. Always the play, go through, go through, and I write semi finals, okay, go for it. But when we don't have players, listen, there are many wars to, to fight. In a, in a season, you have to choose which ones. And, and of course, against the Spurs with Erling, we are stronger, but we have a lot of problems right now, and I'm focusing on other things. So sometimes it's, it's what it is. So. And, and the players behave. I know the people judge results, but I'm more than pleased. And the way we played, uh, for example, the last game, especially the last game. Hi, Pep. You said that at City you've never had an injury crisis like this. Have you ever experienced anything like this in your career as a player or manager before that? Oh, some years, yeah. I played semi final Champions League in Bayern Munich with uh, seven players, did players, players, players out. So. Sometimes happen, so in the right right moment you have to be ready. When you win the travels, because in the right moment, in the right moments, we were there, all the squad. Without that, you can fight for one title. You can be there, but you cannot fight for more. It's impossible, but literally impossible, because the human beings have a, a limit, because the rhythm is so high, intensity, the opponents are so strong, and and when we are all together, wow, we can. Compete for everyone, no competition, but it's not the case. And in that moment, hopefully, when we arrive now, Premier League and Champions League, and especially, you know, FA Cup, we can be the players. But it's where it is. So I said since the first moment in the press conference. So we are not the only ones can happen. So we take care of them really well. We are incredible, you know, take care of yourself. This is our target. And sometimes, for no reason, for no reason, happen. Hi, Pep. You talked about the limit there that human beings have. So when you've got a situation now with lots of injuries, 
the ones who are fit, how much can you push them? Because you must be thinking, you don't want John Stones to get injured, you don't want Erling to get injured. But in these next three games, they're probably going to have to play every one. They probably can't come off either. So how do you manage that situation with how much you can demand from Here. them? They have, they have used to play with some pain. You, you know, when you are injured, when the, the injury can be, or the niggles that can be dangerous. A, a part of that, when it happens, you have to. Today, the modern football, all the players play with pain. All, most all of them, not all of them, most all of them, the, the regular players. So there are moments where injury, injury, it's happened. When you are, a, wow, be careful for the, in this part of the body, be careful, be careful. But sometimes you are, you know, problems, you have to play. Rafael Nadal played his, all his career with pain, and he played. And have, I don't know how many grand slams. So you have to deal with that in modern football. Otherwise, you cannot sustain every three days in the, in the top, top clubs. Have you always had, in, in your nine years here, you've obviously had lots of different players and it's changed a lot, but have you always had players like that? Is that why you've been able to go through periods in the past where there's been lots of injuries, but you've been able to adapt? Obviously, they're versatile. But they're obviously we will adapt. We will adapt as well tomorrow and the next games. I'm pretty sure. We have an incredible group of players. The mentality, they're so strong in the in the tough moments, uh, being a step forward. So this is what you do this week. This week is so important before international break and uh, for the difficulty, the the, the the games away in Premier League and Champions League, and you have to do the rest, the rest for before the international. And sorry, I know you get asked about De Bruyne every week, but it's because every time we ask, he says he's he doesn't quite better. feel right. But is he is he he's, getting there now? He's getting better. Yeah, last two, three, four days, make the doctor said to me, make a step, a step forward in terms of pain. This uh, this season, the, sort of the injuries feel like they've they've been slightly longer than they have in in previous years, maybe where a two week mom might end up being a three or four week one. Do you think how much of that is players being exceptionally careful of their own their own bodies, given what we talk about with the schedule and things like that? Yeah, they have definitely today. Pff, you have to be. It's impossible to. It's a literally to say. Twenty-four hours a day, you have to think about it. The twenty-four hours, no, but twenty-three, yeah. So you have to be incredible focus in your in your body, in your job, and. And the less distractions are possible, and be focused in, in in there. The modern football in the top clubs, they play every three days, and especially after winning a lot, you have to be more and more and more focused on that. Otherwise, just thinking what you have done and just a little bit less than what you have done in the past, you cannot sustain it. But do you do you think players are being more careful with so they maybe withholding their return a little bit for fear of? Exacerbating it depends on the players. There are players that sustain, you know, okay, I'm ready. And the other ones, for the history, all that. There are players, don't tell me, it's the human nature. So everyone is different than everyone. There are players that they have more tendency to get niggles or problems. And the other ones, they are, it doesn't matter what happened, they go, go, and go. It's not because they were more or less, no. So it's nature that the, the players are more adapt. You know, to to sustain incredible amount of efforts daily, daily, day, every day, more than the other ones. And obviously, the comments the the other night about which you've repeated today about the, the focus and living it 24 hours and things like that. Have you seen every single member of the squad <coughs> acting that way this this season? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, You've always talked in the past and explained why you like working with small squads. Obviously, you, you don't like to disappoint players. You don't want players out of the squad for a long period of time. Does a period like this make you reevaluate that next year if you come back? Might you work with a bigger squad or in the future if you have another job? Might you work with bigger squads in case you get another situation like this? Yeah, if next season I know that will be seven, eight gingers, yeah, I would say I want more players. If I know it's not gingers, I don't want it. I don't like to see players. Uh, you know, all they have to do is work with them and say, guys, 24 hours. So, sleep every single minute of your life thinking on your profession. It has to be like that. 
And just about uh, one more about Amarin, if I may. The, you've always talked about the challenge that Jurgen posed when, when you came here, and he sort of raised your game. And then I guess now Mikel Arteta is doing the same thing, helping raise your game. When you see a young manager, one of the best, most highly regarded young managers in Europe come to this country, you're going to play him on Tuesday, you'll play him again in the Derby in a few weeks. Is that the kind of thing that motivates you, that gives you a sort of uh, added interest and enjoyment out of the job, is pitting yourself against different managers? Yeah. It's not a specific for the new manager from United. Unai Emery is here, Iraola is here, and many, many top managers. Yeah, every, every manager had new challenge, new ideas, and of course they proved myself. I said Jurgen, and now because the world arrivals and because it was many years, so how many times we face Jurgen, or in that case, Mikel in the last four or five years, many, many times. As it's normal as much you play with them, and always they are there fighting with you to be your team to, to be champion. It's normal that at the end, with uh, with other clubs play two times maybe a season or more the rest is is much more but of course every 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 i, I said with a, i'm completely honest i i learn a lot with a, when i see the, the other managers i learn a lot and the the problems they can create after the game i said oh god they have done that they create problems here there next game against them we have to be careful of that and you make you better it's simple to analyze but it's the truth and and of course Every match in that case, uh, United manager is going to happen eh, for sure. Hi, Pep. Um, can I just check something? The, the other night you referred to the FA Cup final last season and you said it was a joke, my yeah. friend. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I'm so bad, you know, to, to make a joke that so you get it. So, of course, we were ready. They beat us fairly. But, of course, after the win the Premier League, we have to celebrate it. it my guys are really good on the pitch, but off the pitch are really good too. <laughs> so, and they have to celebrate it. Otherwise, what sense, you know, 11 months to win the Premier League and with one or two, three days, but they train really well on Thursday, Friday, two days before the final, and they were better. United deserve to win. Uh, we can analyze some episodes, but they deserve it. We congratulate them, and that's all. So, I don't make excuses because we were not ready. We were ready, and they were better. That's all. And, and it's not a joke. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you, you spoke about the youth players bringing them up. Is it difficult sometimes to know when to put the youth players in? Because it might be very easy to say, right, I'll just throw in the youth players. Mm. But is it sometimes you have to know exactly no, when? No, listen, when we have all the squad fit and have a problems with players like have a lot today now, they don't play. And play the guys with fit. But the problem is we have... Not much players, and had a lot, like, I don't know. That's why we have to be really gambling if, uh, you know, take a risk with this player, take no risk, and that is the, the doubt that we have when we have in this in this situ. A player that can play maybe 20 minutes, no more than that. There are players who can start, but maybe, I don't know, is going to sure. So we have few now. This is a little bit the problem we have right now, but it's where it is. We try to be smart and talk with the players and see because all the players depend on a recent app but I'm ready and the other one said Pep I don't know okay so at the end the decisions make it will be a lot with uh, how the players feel I'm not in the hamstring of the players you know in the ankle of the players I'm not there they have to tell us most of the time there are players said it doesn't matter I take a risk and the other ones you know, I said, no, it's better because you're injured. I will be seven weeks out or six weeks out. And said, OK, don't, don't do that. And now we are in this in this position. Like I said, with many, many, many teams today. So there are a lot of teams with this situation. That's normal. Thank you, guys. OK, thank you.